Hello, I'm Rick Barclay, and I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we're going to learn the song A Thousand Years. It's made popular by Christina Perry. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. It's in the key of B flat. B flat is this. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, it is in a 6-8 time signature. What that means is there's six beats in each measure, and the eighth note gets the beat. So uh, some of these rhythms are a little complex when it gets into um, the chorus and some tricky parts within the verse as well. So uh, when I'm counting them, I'll be using one, two, and three, four, five, six, or one, two, and three, four, five, and. It's that kind of counting method, okay? Um, so starts off with, let me just show you kind of the right hand, and then we'll add some left hand on this intro. Um, So pretty repetitive in that it's using the F and D mainly, and then it went down to the C, back up to the D, C again, then when it changed, it went to a G and an E flat, and then singularly did a B flat, and then went back to that F and D and resolved to that. So what makes it um, more interesting is what's happening um, Quarterly and with the left hand. We can add some other chord tones too in our right hand if we want to fill it out a little bit. It's based off of B flat first. So a B flat F, B flat, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Okay, and on four of the next measure, on four, five, six, it's an F over A, A in the bass, and then it goes to basically it's a G minor seven. So with just the F, that's the 7 part, and then of course we have the G's, and then the uh, D is the 5th. Now if you want to fill it out a little more, you can add the other chord tones of the B flat, which gives us that minor tonality. And then it goes to an F again, so I filled it in with the A, or you can just leave it as that open fist sound, but F's in the bass. Okay? And then next measure is E flat, E flat's in the bass, and then G and E flat, or you can get, fill it out by adding that B flat. That's a B flat over F, F in the bass, or B flat triad. So I was just adding that B flat from what we were doing here, and then resolves to the plain O F, okay, F A C. So again, those extra chord tones, um, not necessary, but it does help add and fill in what the other instrumentation is doing. So if you're just playing purely the piano part, then it's this these open sounds is that you want of just the two notes in the right hand, and you can do your bass chord uh, tones in your left. Okay, so let's get into the um, the melody of the verse. Now um, it's actually kind of being sung down here low, but what I like to do um, for I recently did this at a wedding, and um, playing the melody up an octave, and in, in this key, which is the original key, it sounds a little bit better on the piano to do that. So I'm going to show it to you that way, uh, but just realize the vocalist is singing down um, an octave in the original, okay? So it starts on the B flat. So let's talk about those notes and the rhythms. So it's a B flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and five, six. So it's four and five, six, D, C, B flat, back to the B flat. Now it's an F. So that's F, E flat, D, B flat, G. Four, five, and six, and it's hold on through six. Four, five, and six, one, and. Holds on to three, uh, excuse me, on two, and then it's rest on three, four, five, and 
Okay, and holding on through six. Okay, next measure, C, D, A, B flat, B flat. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. This rhythm's a little bit different. So it's one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, five, and four, and five, and six. That's how that measure goes. Next measure, one, B flats again, back to the F. Okay, so this rhythm right here.